guys, I'm Cassandra and welcome to another video. So, if you have been watching my channel for a while now, you already know that I have a little series here called Upcycle with me, wherein I take old items or items which look blank and I give it a little makeover and make it look more beautiful. So, for today, I have this earthen pot with me. This is called as Kunne in Konkani and this was used to make curry. This belonged to my grandmother and we don't use this earthen utensils in my house anymore. So there were a bunch of these lying in my storeroom. So I picked it up and let's see what I can make from this. So first I am going to decoupage on it. So I am going to prime the entire utensil white using a white primer. Here I am using gesso. You can also use white chalk paint instead of this. So I am not going to paint the inner portion. I will just paint the entire outer area. And once I have finished painting, I will leave it aside to dry. And while it dries, let's check out our napkin. So for this project, I chose this beautiful napkin which has this lovely cherries. So I'm going to cut out the portion which has the cherries with the help of a wet brush. So what I'm doing is I'm just dipping the brush in water and outlining the pattern that I want to cut out. And then I'm just tearing it out. You can tear it up directly but I really find it easy to tear it using this method. If you have uh, seen my previous upcycle with me videos, you already know this. And if you haven't watched those videos, I'll make sure I link the playlist in the description box. You can check those videos and get some more inspiration for upcycling. So yeah, once I have cut out the napkin, I'll remove all the extra plies, the extra layers and keep only the layer which has the print. Next, I'm taking some decoupage glue. Here I'm using Deco Magic glue. You can also use Mod Podge. So there are again different ways to adhere the napkin. You can apply the glue on a large portion and directly adhere the napkin or in this case I am applying the glue little by little and adhering the napkin. I do it this way because I don't get wrinkles if I do it like this. You can try out and see what works best for you. Next I am cutting out the leftover napkin with the help of a wet brush. And then following the same process, I am going to cover the entire pot with decoupage paper. Next, I am covering all the blank spaces with some cutouts which I had kept aside earlier. And once all the napkin is adhered, I am going to apply another layer of decoupage glue above the napkin and leave it aside to dry. So next for the bottom portion, I have planned to paint it brown to maintain the earthen look but before doing that, I am going to paint it gold. So I am using this golden acrylic paint and painting the entire portion and I am applying two coats of paint. And once it's dried, I am going ahead and using this one step crackle medium. I have already done a very detailed video on this product which I will link in the description box and I will also link it at the end screen of this video. You can check it out if you are interested. So yeah, I am applying generous amount of this since I want large cracks and then I leave it aside to dry. And once it's dried completely, now I'm going to apply the brown paint. So yeah, I'm using a flat brush to apply the paint and I'm applying the paint in small strokes. 
As you can see, the cracks have already started appearing and they look absolutely amazing. So once it's painted, again I will leave it aside to dry. Next, I'm painting this top portion using some brown acrylic paint. And once that's dried up, I'm just taking some golden acrylic paint on my fingers and applying it like this. If you look closely at the earthen pot, it has a nice texture to it. So I'll try to highlight it with this gold paint. And I'll repeat the same process on the top portion as well. And finally, to seal everything and protect it from dust, water, etc., I'm going to apply a layer of varnish. And this is how it turned out. So yeah, this is it for today's video. Don't forget to comment down and let me know if you like this or no. And do check the playlist for more inspirations on upcycling. And hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. And see you in the next video. Bye!